Welcome. Thank you for being here with me. Okay, so let's uh, work, continue to work on our Tai Chi Qigong exercises, working up into the first six movements. And this is actually the same as the first six movements of the Tai Chi form that I practice and that I've learned. And if you're familiar with the form, uh, right about movement four, um, sorry, movement three, warding off, and coming from part of the horse's mane in the form, we turn, hold the tiger's jaw, and move into rotate, push the ball, grass pull, push, and all that good stuff. So in this case, we're just gonna, instead of turning, we're gonna move straight forward. And if you're new to this, uh, it'll just be what you've learned. So instead of uh, closing the door and turning, we're gonna open the door and continue our motion forward. But let's begin with just the arm movements. And let's, let's go ahead and tie moves four, five, and six together from rotate, push the ball, grasping the pheasant's tail, which includes the roll back and the press, moving into grab, pull, push, movement six. And this is a beautiful movement, I love it. And there's all kinds of variations of Tai Chi forms and movements, and I'm gonna share kind of a simplified version of this movement. If I'm familiar with the form that I teach, when we pull back, we tend to pull back down and a little bit to the side and push forward. So if you know how to do that, go ahead and continue to do that. Uh, if you're new to this, just go ahead and do it the way that I'm doing it now. Let's begin. So once again, we're going to move to one side, holding the tiger's jaw. And just imagine you've already done the first three movements, ride the wave, tiger's jaw, and part the horse's mane. And now we're going to rotate and push the ball once again. Rolling up to grasp the pheasant's tail, this grab and this pull. Rolling behind us to a comfortable diagonal and to roll back. Rotating center, backhand drops into the front wrist, nice and low, and press forward. So that ends our move five. Movement six, we're going to begin by letting the inside hand come over the top of the arm, palm facing down. And the forward arm is going to turn, palm facing down his wrist as well. The wrist cross. We're going to kind of rotate the fingers back a little bit and press the palms out. Then we're going to uncross the arms and we're just going to pass through this triangle between the index and thumbs. And right about here, I'll start bringing my elbows in a little bit and let my fingertips point out a little bit, like I'm getting ready to grab onto something. And then I'm gonna pull the hands back towards my chest, press down towards my belly, and then I'm gonna push up with the palms and forward a little bit. And I'm gonna end with nice shock absorber in my arms. I'm not gonna fully elongate the arms or lock the joints out. Keep a nice gentle bend. Imagine like you're going to push on a car. You're going to start with your arms locked. You have a nice bend in the elbows, and maybe after you get going, after you make contact and have strength, then you might open up the rest of the way and elongate the arms. So just like with this pushing motion, we're going to pull back and down, and then as we push forward, I want to make sure I have a nice comfortable bend in the elbows before I reach out the rest of the way. Yeah. And Relax. Going to the other side, hand to the top of the ball, reaching under. Again, the hand that's on the top of the ball is near the shoulder, and that's to my back side, the side I'm rotating towards. So my lower arm, front arm is out here, and I'm going to rotate and push the ball and to warding off. Then I'm going to roll that up to grasp the pheasant's tail. I'm about to slide diagonal to the right, and then I'm going to pull down and circle back and to roll back. I'm going to diagonal behind myself, comfortable, shoulders relaxed, elbows bent, and then I'm going to rotate center, let that circle now take its forward motion as it comes to the front. I cut into the wrist and press forward. Now from this press position, my inside hand's going to feed over the top of the wrist, palm down, other hand's going to turn, palm down, and then I'm going to roll my wrist a little bit and press my palms forward a little bit. I'm going to uncross the wrist. I'm not going to stop here, but I'm going to pass through this triangle. 
and I want my elbows to come down, and let my hands come out. My thumbs are to the inside, like I'm going to grab onto two ropes, and I'm just going to pull my hands towards my chest. Palms are still down, press down towards my belly. And then I'm going to flex my wrists, push up with the palms of the hands, just about upper chest height, and then push forward. Good, and relax. And then next video, we'll tie that in with the breath. Namaste.